let us sing praises. Come, let us love God. Come, let us bless His name. God is our stronghold. God is our safety. So let us bless His name. Come, let us meet the Lord. Thank Him with all His song. Come, let us praise the Lord, the rock of our safety. Our God is great, above other God. He is the King of heaven and Come, let us sing praises. Come, let us love God. Come, let us bless His name. God is our stronghold. God is our safety. So let us bless His name. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I offer this mass for all those who are tested positive for COVID-19 and also people who were victims of uh, coronavirus recently. I offer this Mass for their souls and also pray for healing of those people who are infected with corona. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today in the Gospel, Jesus is saying, I am the Good Shepherd. My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. We are all sheep. And Jesus is our Good Shepherd. <clears throat> we need to tune ourselves to listen to the voice of our Good Shepherd. But sometimes we are distracted with many things. But today Jesus is saying, my sheep hear my voice. And are you a good sheep to hear the voice of the Lord? And secondly, we also reflect that persecutions are necessary for proclamation and that's what we clearly see in the Acts of the Apostles. So my dear brothers and sisters with these thoughts as we take part in this Eucharistic celebration let us reflect our life introspect and examine and see the areas wherein we failed Jesus. We did not show enough and sufficient faith in the Lord. We also reflect for the times that we did not listen to the voice of our Good Shepherd. Let's feel sorry and ask His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostle. 
chapter 11 verse 19 to 26 chapter 11 verse 19 to 26 those who were scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch speaking the word to none except Jews but there were some of them men of Cyprus and Cyrene who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Greeks also preaching the Lord Jesus and the hand of the Lord was with them and a great number that believed turned to the Lord news of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem and they sent Barnabas to Antioch when he came and saw the grace of God he was glad and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose for he was a good man full of the Holy Spirit and of faith and a large company was added to the Lord so Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul and when he had found him he brought him to Antioch for a whole year they met with the church and taught a large company of people and in Antioch the disciples were for the first time called Christians the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Your response shall be, O oh, praise the Lord. O oh, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. All you nations. All you nations. O oh, the holy mountain is this city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you all are told glorious things, O city of God. Your response, O oh, praise the Lord, O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, all you nations, Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me, Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this will be her children, and Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. Your response, O oh, praise the Lord, O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, all you nations. It he see the Lord most high, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, These are our children, and while they danced, they will sing. In you all find their home. Your response. O oh, praise the Lord, O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, all you nations. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Christ has risen and has illumined us. He has redeemed us by His blood. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Your 
Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verses from 22 to 30. It was the feast of the dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered round him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I tell you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness to me. But you do not believe, because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. And no one shall snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. I and the Father are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today in the Gospel, Jesus is saying, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. John chapter 10, verse 27. My dear friends, today Jesus is saying that he is the good shepherd, and we are the sheep. And what kind of sheep are we? Are we listening to Jesus? Are we tuned to Jesus? Are we having the same length, wavelength of Jesus in order to capture the signals that Jesus sends? But dear brothers and sisters, we see radio or dish antenna. You know, radio, we have to tune to the frequency in order to listen to the music or to any program. Otherwise, we will not get that program, that particular program. In the same way, we have on our rooftops dish antennas. And then, when those people, technicians come, they will be changing the dish antenna so that they, they could get, the, they could receive the signals so that our picture in the TV is clear. So also, we as the sheep, we need to tune ourselves, we need to attune to the voice of Jesus, we need to follow the same wavelength. But sometimes we are distracted, sometimes we have so many blocks, so many hindrances. One is, we are not able to listen to the voice of Jesus because we fall into the sin of materialism. Materialism is nothing but, you know, having inordinate love for things in the world and having excess love. And that excess love for things is blocking and also making us deaf to hear to the voice of Jesus. Or sometimes secularism worldly things, worldly passions, and these are also making us deaf to listen to the voice of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Or sometimes, our own individualism, I, me, myself, that is called as uh, Trinitarian egoism, I, me, myself. And if you are lost in your own individual self, you are unable to listen to the voice of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Or sometimes we have undue, undue attraction for our name, fame, and we need to become famous. Because of that, we are unable to 
listen to the voice of Jesus. And so we don't become good sheep, sheep that is listening to the good shepherd's voice. And therefore we cannot follow him. And then we cannot experience that eternal life. And that's why Jesus is saying, my sheep hear my voice and they experience eternity. My dear brothers and sisters. You know, there were two friends and these two friends were walking on the footpath. And it was a busy area, busy business area, buzzing with noise and nobody could hear one another. And as, as these two friends were going, one of the friends says to the other, Hey, I hear the noise that cricket insect is making. So we in India, when we say cricket, we only think of bat and ball or IPL cricket. That's not the way. Cricket insect is there, that which makes noise and especially in the nights. So one friend was saying to the other, hey, I hear cricket insect making a noise. And then the other one couldn't say, hey, no, I don't hear anything. Because the friend who was able to listen to that noise, to that sound, he was, uh, he was a zoologist and he was trained to hear the noise of birds, animals and insects. So he was able to hear the cricket uh, insect uh, sound. And so, and then later on what he has done, he had a few coins in his pocket. And then he dropped those coins on the hard ground and people could hear the sound and everybody approached, everybody looked at the sound of those coins and this man said, we hear what we listen to. We hear what we listen to. We hear what we are interested in. We hear what attracts us. And so the other person was able to hear the sound that cricket made and the other one also heard the sound of those coins because his interest was on money. So also why we are unable to hear as good sheep to the voice of Jesus the good shepherd it is because we are distracted. Our interests are other things other than Jesus. But if you have faith and trust in the Lord Definitely, we are going to hear his voice as good sheep, my dear brothers and sisters. And that's why, when we hear the voice of the good shepherd, what happens is, he is able to give us that commission, that great commission that we hear in Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. There, Jesus says, he calls all his followers and he said to them, you make disciples of all the nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So when we listen to the voice of our good shepherd, then he is going to give us that commission. And that commission is to proclaim, to baptize and to, uh, to proclaim Jesus. But brothers and sisters, and this only happens when we are able to hear the voice of the shepherd, then we, we, are, we are with the shepherd. We as good sheep, we will be with the shepherd. You know, there was a priest and this priest was, uh, you know, transferred to a place where all is faithful. They have uh, large flocks of sheep and everybody was having 100 and 200, you know, the big flock that they have. And this priest thought, why not I have at least 12 sheep with me. So he also bought 12 sheep. Then he, he had hired a worker. And this worker was uh, taking them out for grazing. And after that by evening, he comes and locks them in a room. And one day this worker forgot to lock them. And then just he did not close the gate. And all other sheep flocks and came all around his parish. And stealthily these twelve sheep also mixed with other sheep. And the worker comes, the stall is empty. 
Where are these twelve sheep? Where can I find? They are got mixed with others. So then he goes and uh, tells the priest, Sorry father, we lost all our twelve sheep. And the priest says, No, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, they, they know me and I know them. So he goes and then he stands on a pedestal and he calls Peter, James, John, Andrew. So all one after the other, all the sheep, twelve of them, as twelve apostles, they came together to, the, to that priest. But the brothers and sisters, my sheep hear my voice. They, I know them and they follow me and I am going to give them eternal life. So this is what happens, my dear brothers and sisters. When we listen, then God gives us, Jesus gives us that commission to go and proclaim. And this is what has happened in the Acts of the Apostles. In the Acts of the Apostles, uh, St. Stephen was, was killed, was, became martyr. And what happened? So all these apostles were in Jerusalem. Then, because of the persecution, they, they ran away from Jerusalem. And then they went to different places, as you mentioned, as you heard. So they went to different places. They ran away. But if you see positively, as they went to new places, they proclaimed. The number of believers increased. Because had they been in Jerusalem, this proclamation, this evangelization would not have taken place. Because, because of that persecution, they had to flee. And wherever they went, they proclaimed. And that's how gospel was spreading. And that's the good news was given by Barnabas to, uh, to our Paul. And then Paul comes and then there, first time, these believers were called as Christians in Antioch. My dear brothers and sisters, this is what exactly has happened few years back in Orissa, Kandamal or all those places. Our Christians were persecuted. Many priests had to run and many priests were killed. Uh, nuns were abused. But what has happened? After that, one priest was calling the priest from Orissa. Hey, how is the faith and how are the people? And the priest from Orissa said, now we are very strong in our faith after the persecution. So my brothers and sisters, persecution so that there is proclamation. When there is suffering, then there is spread of the gospel. And this, is what, this was exactly what has happened in the lives of those apostles. So today, let us, uh, as we have reflected, let us as good sheep listen to our master Jesus the Good Shepherd, then we are going to experience that eternity. And secondly, when there are hardships and persecutions, there is also proclamation. Let's reflect on these uh, two points and uh, see where I am I and am I listening to Jesus. God our loving Father, I ask you to bless our Pope, our bishops, priests, nuns and all the catechists. Lord, wherever the proclamation is taking place, wherever the hardships are experienced, but your presence assures them all to go ahead with the, with the gospel proclamation. Lord, strengthen us in difficult moments that we may, we may follow your great command, commission that go and proclaim the gospel. For this grace we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, today I surrender the Vivani TV and all its personnel and all the families who are working here. Bless all of them, Lord. Bless their hard work. And especially as we have this motto of gospel door to door, Lord, bless the hard work of these employees. 
And Lord, today I also pray for all those who have special intentions and all those who are contributing to the growth and progress of the Vivana TV. Bless them, Lord. Keep everyone safe for this grace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, today, as we have reflected that Jesus, the Good Shepherd, and we are sheep who need to listen to our Good Shepherd. When we listen to the Good Shepherd, then we are going to experience eternity. And at the same time, Lord, you have asked us to see the positive aspects of of a persecution. When there is persecution, there is proclamation. And with these thoughts, may we go ahead in, in moments of difficult moments in faith, but we need to progress. For this grace we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, today in a special way, in these most difficult times of COVID-19, as we are experiencing second wave, Lord, bless those people who are victims of COVID-19. Forgive their sins and grave eternal life. And we also pray for all those who are tested positive, Lord, touch and heal them. Lord, I surrender every Catholic family and all those priests and nuns and all religious brothers who are infected with corona positive. Touch everyone, Lord, bless and heal them. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Yours as we stand at the table you said Yours as we eat the bread of us can forget We are the signs of your life We don't see it We are your We are your Take our bread We ask you take our hearts We love you take our life Oh Father, we are Your, we are Your. Your holy people stand washed in Your blood. Spirit fill yet hungry with await Your food. For though we are, we have brought ourselves to You. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our life. Oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our good and the good of, of all His holy Church. Church. Grant we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Oh 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior, O Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you holy. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The bread of life Joy fills us again We have received The risen Christ Jesus in us will reign I am the bread he said that will feed your soul Eat of this my flesh Reach the heavenly goal We have received the bread of life Joy fills us again 
we have received the risen Christ. Jesus in us will reign. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph, Hail Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Yes, eternal is His love. I will sing to my God, never cease. All my life I will tell of His wonder He's the maker of all earth and heaven All the ocean, the seas and all the whole Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Yes, eternal is His love.